Britt, Britt, Shaq, what's good? Cook DeVille, Miss Lady J. Nigga said, how much he paid me? I threw the fight. <laughs> I threw the fight. Time to get owe me some bread then. So they already talking reckless. They should. They should. They should. Especially the surf fans. You know what I mean? You can't tell me the surf fans wasn't um wasn't shook. What's good though? Y'all seen the battle? How y'all feel? Good fight, JJ. You really lose. Yeah, well, you lose some, you win some. One thing I don't like though is people is like they're trying to uh it's like some people want me to be more upset about the battle than I really am. I'm not upset. I'm very tired of you. I understand that, G Money Bags. I understand that. I understand that. Great work regardless for others to say. Yeah, um All in all, Surf was in his bag, man. Like, Surf was in his bag. You know what I'm saying? Some people saying that was what one of uh Surf's greatest performances. And would y'all say that's one of John John's greatest performances? Would y'all say that? Did y'all do y'all say Surf's best beat John John's best? Um you know what I'm saying? Like he, he was in his bag. I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing bad to say um about him. I'm not gonna get up here and lie. You know what I'm saying? That was like that was one of the best shirts we've seen in uh I gotta watch the battle back, to be honest with you. I was I was in my head so much, I don't even really remember what that nigga was saying. I don't really remember what that nigga was saying. So I can't, so when people say, some niggas saying like the crowd was gassing him, I can't agree to it because I don't know what he was saying. Um, and, and, and the way they was reacting, I expected him to get that kind of reaction. I expected him to get more reaction than me, honestly. I expected that. Who didn't expect that? Who didn't expect that? Um, who didn't expect that? But it did, another, it's like, the narratives, right? People were like, yo, John John, you chased this nigga for 10 years, and um, that's what you do. Now, AOTA gang could tell you. By the time I got the call for surf, and I've been saying this, I wasn't interested in the battle anymore. I wasn't interested in the battle anymore. I was already mentally checking out of fucking battle rap and what i tried to do is i tried to tap in i tried to tap in and get in that zone i tried to i was locked in i was i was in the cave i was doing all of the shit but sometimes you could do all that and you could get on stage and the shit doesn't work sometimes you could do all that and don't nothing go your way sometimes it happens like that that night was surf night and then you got other battle rappers like damn like they mad because oh Surf gonna be talking shit for another five years. And in my head, I'm like, yo, do y'all know Surf? If Surf would have lost, he would have still been talking shit for five years. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If he would have lost one, it, nigga would have still been talking shit for five years. You know what I'm saying? Um I feel like he took the he took the battle uh at the right time for him. He took the battle at the right time. And that's that. Honestly, I'm not I'm more relieved that the battle is over with than um you know what I'm saying, than, than mad about losing the battle. But your rounds are good, just surf was on one for real. I feel like my rounds was, was dope too. I feel like this. How I felt, I could just tell my energy wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? I, how I felt like up there, I was more so just trying to get my rounds out and get done with the battle. I just That's how I felt up there. And the certain people that was telling me, like I'm getting feedback like from real John John fans, like, yo, nah, you know, you did your thing, Surf was on one, but I didn't feel you like that. The energy wasn't there. And I could feel that. And I could feel that. And I could feel that. Yeah, I wasn't like, I, I was like, man, again, we don't get up here and we don't make excuses. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't make excuses. 
I haven't made no excuse. I haven't did none of that. I haven't. It's a battle. You know what I mean? Like, like it's a battle. It's a battle. You win some, you lose some. Sometimes you can't control the outcome. It doesn't matter what your material is or how that's that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Why did you concede the first round? What you mean? You still, gee, I don't blame you. You could tell the energy was not there from you. Yeah, Sandberger, it really wasn't, man. It, it just wasn't. Um, uh, I, I just think, uh, me personally, how I feel about it, the fact that I could come off a battle, everybody saying I lost and got 30, uh, that's what people saying, right? And, and don't feel no type of way and to feel more relieved that the battle is over than what motherfuckers are saying. Because I'm getting, people hit me up like, I don't like the way niggas is trying to disrespect you now. And it's certain people that couldn't wait to do that. They couldn't wait to do that. They couldn't wait to do that. Everybody got their time when, you know what I'm saying? When, when, you, when you take that L. Everybody has that time. It was my time that night. I accept that. It was my time that night. There was a lot of gas including from the back. I will say this though. I noticed two things where I knew it was going to be a rough night for me. I noticed two things where I knew it was going to be a rough night for me. And it was two things, and both of them was in the intros. Before we got on stage, they played the trailer on the big screen. Played the trailer. Surf face pops up. The crowd loses their mind. My face come up. Crickets. Right? <laughs> they call me out. To the stage first. I come on stage. They just looking at me. I say, yo, damn, Houston, I don't get no love. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> they said, they said, they said, yeah, I guess. Surf come walking out. They lose their mind. I said, oh yeah, all right, no doubt, no doubt. I see what's going on. <laughs> Rose Gun, am I lying? Who is in the building? Who is in the building? Am I lying? Anytime they saw us, they lost their mind. I'm like, oh, all right. Okay, cool. I was familiar with it. And one thing I knew I was going to do, I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter how crazy they go for this nigga. I'm not going to get up here and complain and make faces and all of that type of shit. I'm not going to complain to do that. I'm just going to let it happen. Let me finish my rounds and get the fuck out of there. I got no love. No love. Um, but that still doesn't take away from, you know, his performance. Um, that was that was a, 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 a scary surf performance. What I mean by that, um, you don't get a performance like that if you're not preparing scared. If you're not preparing scared. Maybe my problem was I didn't prepare scared. I wasn't scared. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't worried I wasn't you know what I'm saying like I was just really just more so ready to get this battle out um you know what I mean that's it that's it I, I like you know I was just ready to get the battle out and again like I wasn't you know I've been I was trying to force myself to get in battle mode I've been saying this like every week with y'all like I've been trying to you know really get tap into that like the battle rap shit is no longer fun for me you know what I mean? I don't have the same passion for battle rap I once had. I don't have that same motivation. I don't I don't have that. You know what I'm saying? I don't have that. I don't have that. You could tell if I'm okay with taking a fucking loss with prob with like during what's probably um my biggest battle. I don't I don't know. It, it depends on how this event turned out. Hold on, all right, tell them how this shit. But yeah, I'm happy to shit over. But you said you was going to kill him. Yeah, I said that. What? I tried to kill a nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> but you said you was going to... All right. I'm pretty sure a lot of basketball players said they was going to drop 50 in the game or drop 30 and come up with 18, 20. The talk was different when the battle was first announced. Of course. Of course, because I was trying to tap in. It ain't like I was just, I, I was trying to tap in. 
I was trying to tap in. Why would my talk be the same now after the battle happened? That don't make sense. I'm supposed to get up here and, and what? <laughs> it could be that, Sandberg. I wouldn't say a mental burnout. Um, Because this is before, like, for a couple of years, I've been saying, like, I knew, like, for a couple of years, it was, you know, I was kind of, like, like, fighting against something that, like, because for a couple of years, I kept saying, yo, um, I'm going to stop battling soon. I'm going to stop battling soon because I was feeling it. It wasn't the same hunger. It wasn't the same drive. It wasn't that. Right. Think about it. What drove me, answer this, what drove me in the beginning of my career? What drove me? People counting me out, right? What drove me was everybody saying I was going to lose a battle. That's what drove me. So when it got to a point where, when it got to a point where everybody is sitting there, everybody, basically majority of the battle rap culture is saying, oh, I got John John, 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 I got John John. Where's the motivation in that? If if I if I've been driven on being an underdog, now I'm battling an obvious fan favorite, and y'all made him the underdog. Hey man, hey man. We could talk about the twenty. How y'all asking about the twenty k and surf not? You want to know why? It was never no judges. Everybody pick JJ on because Surf Joe. Maybe, maybe, but it doesn't matter why they picked whatever. Fact of the matter was, it made a fan favorite the underdog. And what do I always say about underdogs? This is underdog sport here. This is underdog sport here. It's underdog uh, sport here. JJ the Stiller again, huh? One by default. Yeah, these niggas is weird. That's your problem. Worry about another man's pockets. Yeah, these niggas is weird. You did your thing. The crowd wasn't. Yeah, the crowd wasn't really fucking with me. But I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna blame that on biasness. Like I don't like. Like anytime, like when we watch battles, right? And the crowd get the boo in a nigga or something like that. Even when the crowd like boos, majority of the card. A lot of people will recap that and they will go into the battle and be like, um. The crowd was terrible. The crowd was terrible. I was always a nigga that said, um, you could do something about that. You could do something about that. Because any event where the crowd was terrible, it was at least one or two niggas that shook that motherfucker. They gave them what they wanted to hear. So I'm not going to blame everything on the crowd. Like I think I think my, my main downfall was my energy. Bottom line. My main downfall was my energy. My main downfall was my energy. Rebuttled the crowd. Yeah, sometimes it sometimes it be like that. I gotta watch the battle back though. It comes out Friday. Maybe we could watch that shit together. Maybe we watch that shit on here together. You know what I'm saying? Uh did I win around? I don't know, Lil Pancho. Next battle come with that pit bull anger. That's what I'm saying. I don't like I can't I can't force anger. You know what I'm saying, Big Chef? Like I can't force that. And this is why I don't like really like battling um random niggas. You know what I'm saying? I can't force that type of animosity. Like, even the shit with me and Surf was was kind of forced. You know what I mean? It was kind of forced. It was kind of forced. And I ain't gonna lie, like I was, I was, uh, I was already iffy about my third round. I was already iffy about my third. It's hot, for the motherfucker. I was already iffy about my third round. So after the second, when niggas was like, "Yo, too old," I heard a nigga in the crowd, "Yo, John, John, can you, can you?" Run? I was like, "Oh man," it's. <laughs> I was like, "Oh man, it's gonna get dark in this third. It's gonna get dark." I knew my third wasn't all that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He said, what's up with rocking caution? That was just a scheme. 
That was just a scheme. That was just a scheme. That's why I threw a lot of what ifs. You know what I mean? That was just a scheme to get to the sea and surf and caution tape. You know what I mean? Surf and caution tape. Like I had to make it seem like it was some shit. Like, but that ain't that ain't really about nothing. That was just a scheme. That was just a scheme. They take everything too serious. Leash. I say rock damn. Nah, he ain't pay me. Hell no. What about the Sharon Bar shit? Hey man, we play swear to God. <laughs> Salute, Trailmatic. Maybe shorter setups. Now I don't think my setups was too long. To be honest with you, I'm telling you what it was. It was it was the energy. It was the energy. It was like. Because even like how I was feeling, if I was somebody in the crowd, right, um, watching that, like my shit just didn't, it didn't land how it was supposed to land. It wasn't, it wasn't right. And even before I got on stage, Saya was watching the battle. Shout out to Saya. Saya was like, yo, this crowd loves pace. He like, the crowd is feeding off pace. Straight pace. They don't really care to just be listening to every word. It's about pacing. You know what I'm saying? And I came with more of a of a talk to them type shit. Yeah, they love they love tempo. They love tempo. They hit it on your third much. I think the second half of my third was kind of ass. I just I just felt like the only reason why I went in there with it, because it was more so of my mindset was what needed to be said versus um, what people wanted to hear. You get what I'm saying? It was a what needed to be said versus what people wanted to hear. In a volume, I definitely think it would have been um, it would have been received a, a different, very different. Surfing, take a sip of water, that whole battle. Damn, you watching a nigga's mouth? You watching the, how, what? <laughs> Maybe he ain't need no water. The fuck? Water switch kick his and give his daughter a kiss. What about the Sharon Bar shit? Hey man, we play swear to God. <laughs> Salute, Trailmatic. Maybe shorter setups. Now I don't think my setups was too long, to be honest with you. I'm telling you what it was. It was it was the energy. It was the energy. It was like Cause even like how I was feeling, if I was somebody in the crowd, right, um, watching that, like my shit just didn't, it didn't land how it was supposed to land. It wasn't, it wasn't right. And even before I got on stage, Saya was watching the battle. Shout out to Saya. Saya was like, "Yo, this crowd loves pace. He like the crowd is feeding off pace, straight pace." They don't really care to just be listening to every word. It's about pacing. You know what I'm saying? And I came with more of a of a talk to them type shit. Yeah, they love they love tempo. They love tempo. They hit it on your third much. I think the second half of my third was kind of ass. I just I just felt like the only reason why I went in there with it because it was more so of my mindset was what needed to be said versus um, what people wanted to hear. You get what I'm saying? It was a what needed to be said versus what people wanted to hear. In a volume, I definitely think it would have been um, it would have been received a, a different, very different. Surfing, take a sip of water, that whole battle. Damn, you watching a nigga's mouth? You watching the, how, what? <laughs> Maybe he ain't need no water. The fuck? Water switch, kick his, and give his daughter a kiss. Uh, it's not what you, how you say it. Surf had great pacing. Yeah, he was in his bag. He was in his bag. He was in his bag. He said, so I'm done battling. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because after a while, I want to be done. I do. I want to be done. But ain't no telling, like, all this, all this, like what niggas is saying, this shit is, it might make me want, you know what, let me, 
let me get crazy, but even if I battle somebody else, right, and I smoke them niggas, it's not going to take away from, from this battle. You know what I'm saying? This is not like me and this nigga about the rematch in a different setting or anything. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't need to redeem myself for what? How did you feel when the crowd didn't respond? I mean, that wasn't the first time that happened to me. So, um, my whole mindset was just get my fucking material out. Like, for me, for me rapping in front of a crowd, that's go, go to the old John John battles. It just felt like that all over again. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm battling a fan favorite, and you know what I'm saying? And, and the crowd not really perceiving me well. And then think about the expectations I had. Let's be real here. Think about the expectations I had. Niggas are saying, yo, we wanted you to come out with that Jack boy. That Jack boy kind of energy. Like the expectations I had. The expectations he had, he just needed three rounds. Just look at the blocks. The expectations he had, he just needed three rounds. Me, I had to recreate the fucking Jack Boy shit all over again. How the fuck was I going to do that? Expectations were hella. Yeah, hell yeah. Come on, man. They, they wanted me to do that all over again. All over again. People don't talk about the expectations of certain battlers. Yeah, but expectations expectations run run battle rap. Like expectations, it um anytime you got low expectations, like that's why people coming off of wins, nine times out of ten, like they come off of great wins and their next battle will be losses. It ain't that they fell off, it's just the expectations is so high. And and it works in reverse too. If niggas coming off of a loss, expectations are low, so it's easy to exceed either. So you twice see those. If it's not there no more, don't be down, bro. Bro, do what's next. Nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not down. Do I feel like I lost? I mean, yeah, I wasn't my best. I wasn't my best. I wasn't my best. It's just the energy thing, man. I know when 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 I'm when I'm when I'm locked in, when I'm blacking out, it's a zone that I catch. Like it's a zone that I catch while I'm on stage. And I haven't felt that zone in a long time. I haven't felt that zone in a long fucking time. I'm going to be honest with you. And it's probably because I've been looking at battle rap more so like uh, business. I'm just like, all right, let's just get it done. With. I'm here. Let's just get it done. It, like, I haven't had that zone in I don't know how long. Like, the last time I had that kind of zone... I think it was chess. Chess. I said to talk about all the negative. I mean, it comes with the territory, man. We watch battle rap, and we watch niggas take losses, and we watch the memes, we watch the blogs, we watch everybody talk about niggas. We watch, we watch that, we watch it happens. We watch it happens. I'm supposed to feel like it's not supposed to happen because it's me. Nah, it's probably my turn to get it. It's probably my turn to get it. For years, it's been, oh, John John don't lose. John John don't lose. John John don't. You know what I feel like? I feel like Tyson when he fought Buster Douglas. That's what I, I feel like Tyson when he fought Buster Douglas. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. It happens, man. Said I got 30. That's what's up. And some lose some, Mr. Culture. That's a fact. Lennox Lewis. Nah, I like Buster Douglas. They even fucked basketball up. Had a classic with Geechee, tried to boil the last like show with you. Yeah. He said he had two bad performances in a row and he came. He was bound for, he was bound for one of those. He was bound for one of those. He was bound for one of those, um, just like I was probably bound for Al. If, if the narrative been John John don't really lose, that means more likely it's, uh, it's that time. We will never see that level of surf again.
Probably not, because he not he not gonna need to do that again for for the surf fans. Surf fans is okay with that. Like if his next performance is shitty, they're gonna be like, well, at least he beat John John. They're gonna go back to that. They don't go back to that. They don't go back to that. If he underachieved in this, we could parent surf to Buster Douglas, man. Hey man. I feel like any battle surf takes next is gonna be a step down from you. Um, I don't know. I just think if, if it ain't like another Summer Madness, um, I don't know what that Drake card is going to look like. He should be on that. That's sad if he does that BS. That's because you're a legit victory because you lightweight don't lose like this. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact, boss man. Crowd low key had their minds made up before. Oh, they definitely did. They definitely did, uh, Kevlar. They definitely did. That's a fact. But again, I I, I could have done something. Uh, I, again, it's just my energy, man. It's just my energy. My mind wasn't all the way in it. My mind wasn't all the way in it. My mind wasn't all the way in it, man. That's what it was. Mook will take them with no crowd. Uh, we can recap the other battles. I ain't even really... Which battle I seen?